Hey, I'm Anfa. I'm an electronic music producer. I also make videos where I share my experience, knowledge and passion for making electronic music. But there's a small twist. I only use open source software and Linux. Now you're not using Linux, aren't you? Well, that's no biggie, because the majority of the software that I talk about also works on other operating systems as well. So I will encourage you to try Linux. I want to show that you don't need to buy or pirate proprietary software to be able to create fantastic music. All the tools are already there, created and maintained by a community of wonderful people. Let me quote ImageLine here, the creators of FL Studio. On their website you can read about misconceptions regarding music production. Scale. The world is full of marketing departments trying to convince you that the equipment and specifications can substitute for talent and hard work. This is not true. The performance transcends the medium every time. The performance includes musicianship, vocals, orchestration, arrangement and the mixing decisions. These are all under your control and have little to do with the DAW software you use or plugins you have. I have more than a decade of experience making electronic music and I can agree with that statement. You won't see open source software being advertised or marketed, but it's becoming a force to be reckoned with. For example, the 3D industry can no longer deny the existence of Blender, a fully featured open source 3D production package. And I think the same is going to happen in the music industry. I believe we are on a tide of an ongoing open source revolution. It might look slow, but every single year the open source toolset is getting better. More robust, more featureful and more diverse. There are many powerful open source DAWs like Ardor, LMS, Qtractor, an amazing variety of instrument and effect plugins, live loopers, guitar effect processors, samplers, synthesizers, guitar tab and music notation editors. All of that is out there right now, waiting for you to discover it and to use it. And it won't cost you any money. It will cost you time to learn it. But once you learn it, you are free. There's also a growing number of proprietary DAWs available natively for Linux, like Bitwig, Renoise, Reaper, Traction Waveform or Harrison Mixbus. The industry is starting to realize that Linux is a viable platform to make music on. If you'd like to try Linux, there's a slew of great distributions, or flavors as some people call them, that are directly focused on music production. These come preloaded with appropriate software to get you started and are also configured to make your life easier. All of them can be booted directly from a USB drive or an optical disk, so you can try and experiment without touching your current operating system. I used to do that a lot before I decided to install Linux on my hard drive and make it my default. Also, you can install FL Studio and Linux via Wine and I've heard that it works just fine. You might be wondering right now, why did I decide to go this way? Why have I chosen to use only open source software in Linux while there's so many great proprietary programs that I could use, even on Linux? You see, it's because I believe that the open source software is the way the world should go, as it allows everybody to develop and be creative, regardless of their income. It's also a way to retain full control over the software that we use. Nobody can shift it to a subscription model overnight, or force you to upgrade, or hoard your data. Nobody will make you a product here. You own this software. We own it. We make it. Join us now and share the software. You'll be free hackers. I've tried and tested it for years, and with great pleasure I want to announce that the open source software ecosystem is already perfectly capable of handling both amateur and professional workloads for music production and sound design. I've released multiple albums over the years to prove that. As an artist, I work with the developers to help make the software better. I also show my workflow for music production, I share techniques and ideas for sound design with the open source software. I'm here to foster the open source music production community. 
I think open source makes the world a better place. So I invite you to check out my other videos and I hope that you'll bite the bullet, break the chains and become a part of our community. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was worth your time. I also want to thank all the Patreon supporters who are enabling me to make videos like this one. If you would like to join them and keep this show going, please go to patreon.com slash anfa. That's all. Now go and make some music. <laughs>